once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we are going to do a photo manipulation using orange so this is just a normal orange but i tried to manipulate this add an eye and then mouth to this so i'm going to show you how to do this so remember to subscribe if today is your first time visiting my channel and also don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials let's jump into action so before that, i'm going to bring the oranges to I'm going to bring the orange and the image I'm going to use to Photoshop. So this is the orange and this is the image I'm going to use. So first of all, let me just close this. So this is the name of the orange I've used. And I'm just really going to drag these two, select the two, and then drag them to Photoshop. Okay, so these are the two images I'm going to use, the orange and then this picture. Before that, let's create, before that, let's create a background canvas for this. So go to File New. And then from the New Document window, let's just set it to inches we'll change it to five by five inches and then click on create so in this case we will move everything on top of this we're going to bring everything here so the first thing i need to do is to select my orange and then move it there you can easily remove it from the background over here so i can easily go ahead and then go and use my quick selection tool over here and then just select on this and then just select just the orange okay we just need the orange use the move tool that's the first tool and then we'll drag this to our main canvas so this is where we're going to place everything so i think i'm okay with this the size is okay and then i click on the check icon or hit enter to confirm this i can just zoom in on this a bit so now we have to bring the image we're going to use here the image is too big so i want just the eye and then the face so what i would do is to actually pick my tool and then use the crop tool and then just crop just on the head i don't need the full image that is what i want so I'll just confirm this and then i'll first remove the lock so double click on this and click on ok to move the to remove the lock so i'll just drag this on top of my image here so this is what i want i can just resize this I'll resize this and that is it I want to copy of this so i'll just i'll press ctrl j to get a copy of this and then i'll first switch one off so turn the eye off of one so first let's try and then add the mouth to this orange before that let's reduce the opacity so we can see the orange through the image so this is exactly what i have at the moment it's okay so i have this and then i'm going to brush off the other part of this image and then leave only the mouth over here before i do that i will add a layer marks to this make sure your layer is selected and then click on layer marks now select your layer marks and then from the two panel we have to select what the brush tool and then you can increase the brush from the top here you can increase the size of the brush here make sure your hardness is zero and you can also use the square bracket to increase or reduce so i can start painting on other parts of this image i only need to reveal the amount of this image so I'll paint to make sure I clear off the other part of this image. And then I'll focus only on the mouth of this image. And what we can do is that if this is too small, you can actually enlarge this. I want the mouth a bit bigger. So I'll just do that. I think the size is now okay. I'll continue to use the brush and then just brush around. You can reduce the size in order to focus on chest amount you don't have to clear everything so i'll just play with this until i'm comfortable you can reduce the opacity back you can increase the opacity back to 100 percent and you see what exactly is happening so just paint around this you just leave only the amount on this orange When you get something wrong, you can just undo and then you continue again. Okay, so I'm just gonna play with this, and I think this is okay for me up to this stage. If it's not perfect, you can keep trying until you get it exactly as you want. Now we are done with the mouth, we have to get the eyes. So remember, we have two images. I turn off the second one, so I'll bring back the second one now. Yeah. We're going to repeat the same process for this. This time around, we want to also add a layer mask. So select that and then add layer mask. We have to reduce opacity again. And then make sure we are seeing the orange through the image. So 
so let's go ahead and then use the brush tool again like subscribe and turn on post notification because i have amazing content coming up next year tomorrow will be the last day i record for this year and then next year we have amazing stuff coming so i'll increase my brush and i'll continue to paint on this image in this case i want only the eye so my focus will be on the eye so we just play around with this until you get something perfect so now i can actually increase the opacity back to 100 percent and i can see the eye and i want to leave only the eye and clear every other thing so i can play with this reduce the brush whilst i paint just to resolve the eye of this i can actually zoom in so i get this thing well set okay so i will continue to do this This is almost set. This is almost set. So it all depends on how you want this done. So you just have to take your time and play along until you get your design or in shape. So this is exactly what I have at the moment. I can actually go ahead and increase this. You can see there are still more places I need to brush off. So I can increase my brush and then make sure those places off okay just leave the eye and then the mouth okay i just want to increase the size of the eye so you can drag this out and then you should be getting something like this from here you can see i have everything well placed in shape if you choose to add the nose, you can equally do that. But I just want to focus on just the mouth, eye, and then the orange itself. So these are the layers I want to add. So I have the three layers now, the two head, and then the orange. I can select the two, and then what I will need to do is to right click, and then I'll convert them into a smart object. So this is it. Now they are all one image now, and then I can easily move it around. Now what I want to do is that I want to improve on this color. You can just improve on that. So once you select it, you can go to the filter and then click on the camera raw filter and then do some adjustment to the color. Okay, so I can increase the temperature of this. You can see you can play with along this to make sure the color will balance fairly balanced. I'll reduce the exposure, you can increase the contrast, and also we will probably add some bit of vibrance to this. And I'm good to go so I think every other thing is okay up to this stage I'll just click on okay from here and you can see this is how to go about it but this is just a simple orange photo manipulation using Adobe Photoshop like subscribe for more tips and tricks and more amazing stuff in the year to come so like come your way again bye bye